Hey guys, Namaste and welcome to Notice Things. I assume that you have watched my previous videos on the basics of stock market and how to start investing. If not, please do check out. Well, tell me, are you looking to invest in a company stock which can be the multi-bagger? Are you seriously thinking that to start with safe investment? If yes, then let me talk about one company which will be the multi-bagger and will turn your investment in huge. And also will tell you the key points you need to look at before buying up a stock. So don't stop watching till the end. Let's get started. Reliance Industries and why? Is a Fortune Global Finance Company and India's most valuable company by market value. RL owns business across many sectors, which is energy, petrochemicals, textiles, natural resources, retail, and telecommunication. They initially focused on polyester business, but currently earns a major part of revenue from refining and rest from petrochemicals oil and gas retail and digital services. Valency is one of the most profitable companies in India. The company has a revenue of 659,205 crore and is one of India's largest publicly traded companies by market capitalization. RLL currently employed over 194,056 people according to its annual report produced in 2018-19. It is also highest income tax payer in the private sector in India. The company's equity shares are listed in BSE and NSE. As I said, it is important to look for the listing in both BSE and NSE before buying a stock. Let me now take you to the chart which will explain to you why RL is the safest bet. Always note that opening price and closing price are the same. As you can see, RL is currently trading at a price of 1737 after closing hours. The previous close was 1703, opening price is 1718. Now we'll go to one month chart. RIL was trading at 1520 on June 1st and today July 1st it is trading at 1737 that means it has given over 14% returns and you look at 6 month chart the lowest was 875 in the month of March. You don't believe the return it has given is 98%. What does it mean? Almost double. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you go mathematically, let us assume that you have purchased 1000 shares at a price of 875 rupees. Totally you have invested 8,75,000. Correct. And selling 1000 shares at a price of 1737. So, so you have received 17,37,000. What is your profit? What is the difference between 17,37,000 and 8,75,000? That is a profit, right? Let us see. Yes, you got a profit of 8,62,000 in a simple strategy. Come on, I'm not playing with you. That's a fact. That's what the chart says. You got to believe me. Now, let me tell you what are the things you need to look at before buying a stock. Market capitalization is the first thing that comes. What is that? So market capitalization is total value of the company's share. It is calculated by multiplying the price of the stock by its total number of outstanding, outstanding shares. You may not understand. Let me give you, let me explain you with an example. A company with 20 million shares selling at 50 per share 
the market cap of the company is 1 billion. Hope you are clear with that. In November, RIL became first Indian company to hit rupees 10 lakh crore market cap and the first Indian company to reach the milestone. So it is very important factor to look at. Next is P ratio or price earning ratio. It is a ratio of a company share price to the company's earning per share. The ratio is used for valuing companies to find out whether they are overvalued or undervalued. A high P ratio shows that the investors are willing to pay a higher share price because the growth expectations in the future. However, a stock with high P ratio is not necessarily a better investment than one with lower P ratio as high P ratio can indicate that the stock is being overvalued. You can look at this up. Then important thing is book value. Book value is calculated as the difference between the company's total assets and total liabilities. For example, if a company has a total assets of 100 million, and total liabilities of 80 million, the book value of the company is 20 million. A simple calculation in that. So you can see that as well. You need to be a little attentive here. I'll tell you why. Okay, first, do you know what dividend is? If you don't know, let me tell you that dividend is paid by a company to its shareholders out of its profit. In case you have the share of a company then you will be getting the dividend okay. okay let me explain to you with one more example a share price is 100 rupees and face value is 10 rupees and the company declares a dividend of 90 percent then the dividend would be 90 percent of rupees 10 which will be rupees 9. Okay. These dividends are portion of earnings that a company distributes to its shareholders every year. Dividend return is one of the most important thing to be considered while investing for long term because it is additional return for you on the price appreciation. Okay, I'll give you one more example for that. For the year ending, March 2020, Reliance Industries has declared an equity dividend of 65%, which is 6 rupees 50 paisa per share at the current share price. So that is your additional income. In the next video, I'll explain to you the financials of the company and tell you how to read the balance sheet, income statement and shareholding pattern. These are very simple analysis, nothing complex in it. Anyone can screen that. That's all guys. I'm going to end this video. Thanks to you for watching the video till the end. If you like the video, help me out getting it subscribed. Hit the bell to notify you on the upcoming videos. Please share it with your mates, friends, relatives and well wishers. We'll appreciate that. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, please take care and stay safe.